You might be surprised to learn that even column store has disadvantages. Yes, column store is read optimized but not write. So that means that column store is useful for the OLAP or online analytical processing. So it is good for reporting but it is not good for transactional processing. It's not good for OLTP. And the second thing is mm, the demerit of the secondary index is inherited in the column store as well. So if the value of one row in the database is changed, then the whole column store has to be re-indexed as the address of the data changes. So re-index is a burden to data database and it puts additional cost to the memory and the usage. So if there is a problem, there should be some solution. So let's see how SAP overcame this limitation. So it overcame the limitation using the insert only approach. So what does that mean? It means that in the database, no entry is updated. So old entries are only invalidated and the new entries are inserted with the latest time stamp. So they so say there are two entries. First entry has same and the second entry is also same with just one change. Then in that case, they will have that change in the second entry along with the latest time stamp. So if we have to read uh, among the two of them, we'll always read the one with the latest timestamp. In the next slide, we'll see with pictures how it happens. So, and this, uh, as I told earlier, this um, insert only approach has been derived from the company called P-Star, who had extensively worked on the high performance in memory. And then eventually um, it was so useful that SAP acquired them and now P-Star time is part of SAP.